thank you, Francis, for another delicious meal. Thank you. Up next, um, so the Board of Directors has been working on a way for us to recognize our chamber members uh, throughout the year, and we've established what um, is known as the Chamber Excellence Award. And um, what that is, is we have guidelines that we have set for the Chamber Member of the Year at the Christmas Gala. And the recipients of the Chamber Excellence Award are then nominated at the end of the year for the Chamber Member of the Year. Uh, the guidelines that we look at for our members to qualify for the award are that they actively promote and assist the Chamber with its new recruitment. Uh, they attend chamber activities, they participate in chamber committees and support the organization, and pursue new opportunities for the chamber by demonstrating leadership and commitment to the well-being of the chamber. So this is an award that we'll be doing quarterly, but for now, uh, we'd like to give our first recipient of the, of the award, um, and that award goes to Tiffany Webster from Persimmons Boutique. Tiffany, if you have anything about the same I really appreciate it. It is such an honor, and I'm so, so grateful just for the award and for all of you all. Um, not being from here, y'all just, y'all welcome my, me and my family here. And it's it's just a huge, huge, um, I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much. So one thing that stood out to me of what Tiffany did was uh, this past fall, she uh, basically spearheaded a small business uh, shop local, I'm, lo I'm losing my thought, um, small business Friday? Saturday. Saturday, sorry, right after Black Friday. Um, she basically spearheaded that promotion in our county, uh, getting several uh, local businesses involved in that and publicly promoted it on Facebook. So uh, that was something that stood out to myself and uh, we appreciate what you've done so far. We have um, some elected officials with us. Uh, we'll just start with uh, Judge, Judge Executive David Johnson. you have anything you'd like to say? Uh, just good to be here. Then we have, I'm skating for him, Jason Chin. Anything you'd like to say? No. <laughs> Justin Camp. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have Mayor Paul Sandifer. And then we have Sandy, Sandy Simpson from Congressman Comer's office. Sandy, you have anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I'll, I'll speak if you don't okay, mind. Okay, sure, go ahead. Uh, first of all, thank you all very, very much for inviting the Congressman's office to attend your chamber luncheon today. I'm, I'm so excited to be here and so excited to meet as many people as I can. I really appreciate that opportunity. Most of you all may remember uh, Amelia Brown Wilson. Uh, she may, you may have met her when she was coming up here for Congressman Comer. She, uh, has, the Congressman Comer has decided to give us some different counties, assignments in different routes. So Amelia uh, is, is going to stay mostly in the western part of the district, and I have picked up now Ohio County, and I'm so excited to be able to do that. I used to work for Congressman Whitfield. You all may have remembered Congressman Whitfield when he uh, was your representative here. In Ohio County. I worked for him for 22 years. So when Congressman Comer was elected, he asked me to stay on and become his district director. And I'm proud and humbled by that opportunity. I just want to close by saying Congressman Comer is very excited to represent you in Congress. He is humbled by that opportunity. If there's anything that he or I or any of his staff can do to be of service to you, if you have a relative or a friend or someone you know that's having trouble with the federal government, whether it's Social Security or VA, please do not hesitate to call our office, and I'll be glad to speak to any of you all after the meeting today. Once again, thank you for allowing me to be here, and thank you so much for allowing me to say a few words. That's no problem. Thank you. <laughs> do we have any members who have guests with them today? I do. Okay. This is Sarah Wilson. She is our um, manager at our location in Morgantown. 
which was, I guess, our fourth one. We've just opened our fifth one in Princeton, and I'm hoping to have um, one of our individuals represent us from Fuller Physical Therapy in Princeton as well uh, to come to one of our meetings too. But I uh, just wanted to invite Sarah here. She's uh, active with the Butler County Chamber of Commerce, so definitely glad that you came with us. Thank you. Thanks for bringing her. Thank you for coming today. We have a uh, new member who's joined the Chamber of Commerce, and it's State Farm, uh, represented through Carter Harrell. I don't think Carter is here today. I'm scanning, um, but his office is represented. Do you have anything you'd like to say? No, just, we're right beside McDonald's, so we would love you guys to stop by. Okay. So um, we're going to discuss, my intent now is to discuss um, what the Chamber is looking into something that we've just opened up um, and then later on before we close I want to open the floor to you all because we want to hear what you all have to say on ways you believe that we can improve as a Chamber of Commerce um, but first before we do that um, I'm gonna have Chase come up here and talk about a new program that uh, we just have launched and Chase is going to give us some more details on that Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to see you again. I've been away for a couple months, but it's good to be back and to, to see all of you all. Um, just a quick word on, on ComCare, since they're our sponsor today, and I know they couldn't be here, but we visited with ComCare when I was a part of the Leadership Ohio County class, and to hear about the work that they did and the awesome public par uh, public pri private partnership, that's a, that's a lot there, is a... Uh, it's great for this county and David what is it uh, that that we support uh, conquer with each year in, in this partnership um, the building we provide we, we provide the building one new ambulance a year and subsidizes about hundred and twenty six thousand and that is the envy of all the other counties that we visit uh, which is nothing usual for a, uh, a, a community our size to, to uh, support the ambulance service in the amount of a million or so uh, and if they operated themselves it probably double that yeah. so we're really fortunate to have this uh, deal yeah yeah there, there's some surrounding counties that spend up like he said upwards of a million dollars to run their own ambulance service so to have a private company in our county that that can uh, take on that and be so, uh, so successful at it is uh, uh, it's a great blessing the program that Judson was referring to is the new Shop Ohio County program that we're just la launching. The ink just dried yesterday. We just signed the contract with the provider yesterday. Uh, we've been thinking about uh, reviving Shop Ohio County for a while. For those of you that have been around for a while, you may remember the Shop Ohio County voucher program. These were paper vouchers that people could purchase and then they could be used at chamber businesses and then be turned around by the business and be redeemed for cash at the chamber office. Well, that program was sort of in decline. You know, the, it just it wasn't an efficient means of incentivizing local shopping. You know, people had to get their certificates, come to us, and then the businesses would have to come back once they wanted to redeem those certificates for cash. So we were sort of inserting ourselves as more of a middleman than actually trying to streamline the process and incentivize uh, local shopping. So we looked at, around at, at what, we, uh, what we could do to revive that program and to make it more efficient and more streamlined. And we looked at plastic cards. Um, some of the downfalls of those, are, the redemption rates of those are fairly low, I think about 50%. Uh, I'm guilty of that myself. I've got several that I've lost and <laughs> it's just, the money's just gone out there somewhere. Um, so what, the alternative to that are e-gift cards. And that's what this program is gonna do. Uh, they're going to be gift cards that you can purchase online on our website or our Facebook page and the code will be sent either via text or email to the recipient and if I can get this open here I'll show you an example but there's some pretty com compelling statistics that you know, the majority of people now that, that buy gift cards, they want them, and receive gift cards, they want them to be digital so that they're, you know, they're always in your pocket. You don't have to worry about setting them down on your counter and losing them. 
And a good thing for the businesses is that, uh, like say uh, the hospital for instance, they were a big supporter of the old voucher program and, and giving vouchers to their employees uh, around Christmas time or whenever uh, as a end of the year bonus or gift. Uh, if, well, we don't have an internet connection, so I'll just say. Uh, the good thing about this program is that whatever amount you spend at the end of a year, they, they don't, well, they, they do expire, but the money doesn't ever leave the county. If you only have 50% of your gift cards redeemed at the end of the year, that money comes back to you. So you can roll it over into next year's program. Uh, something to be on the lookout for you all. Like I said, we just signed the contract yesterday. They're going to be sending out activation cards to each chamber member that you'll just swipe so that they have your merchant ID uh, so that we can tie the program to your business. The two constraints that we were working with when we were thinking about this program and hashing out the details is that one, you know, a, a closed loop card uh, is, is fairly simple. Uh, this would be like a, a Macy's card or something that works at one location, one POS system, point of sale system. Well, to give the same benefit to all of you all, we couldn't do that because you all operate with multiple, you know, different POS systems. So we wanted something to work across multiple POS systems. And the answer to that are MasterCard or Visa gift cards like you've seen that can be used anywhere. Well, the downside of that is that what good does it does it do us to incentivize shopping locally if it can be used on Amazon or you know anywhere else? So we wanted something universal to work across multiple POS systems and something that could be restricted to only chamber members. So that's what we found with Yifty. Um, we hope that it'll uh, help grow your your businesses. Uh, it'll be you know they'll be available you know not only for a place like Persimmons. Uh, but, you know, if someone comes in fuller physical therapy and wants to use the gift card for the services there, uh, they can use it the exact same way. And speaking of using it, um, how will these cards be used since it's just on the phone? There's no digital card. The recipient is going to be given, uh, in the email or in the text, they're going to have card information. Just like the 16-digit uh, the MasterCard number, the expiration date, and a security code. So the business will just punch in the card information just like they would any other card. We understand that some businesses don't have that capability of actually punching in the numbers. It has to be swiped. Um, there's no workaround uh, for that with a digital gift card. Aside from they are working on um, integrating Apple Pay and Google Pay where you just hold your phone up to a reader and it, and it you know, scans the card. So. We just want to make this as efficient and streamlined as possible to help incentivize local spending. We feel the more of these cards are, are circulated around, that's less money uh, you know, going out of the county. We have a lot of great products and services here, and I'm guilty of it myself. I'm a big Amazon shopper. I like getting the package on my doorstep in two days. But uh, the, the easier we can make it for people to shop locally, the more competitive our local businesses will be. And just some quick statistics on the benefit of a gift card program. A study done by First Data uh, in 2011 reported that 72% of gift card shoppers spent more than the original gift card value when redeeming their cards. Uh, they also reported when redeeming their gift card, 25% purchased an item they had not planned to spend money on. 8% bought a more expensive version of an item they already planned to buy. And 3% purchased an item from a store they don't normally shop at for such an item. So I think we can all relate to those. Um, you know, we're just hoping to circulate more money through the, uh, through the Ohio County economy and hopefully this program will bring that about. The Chamber's here to serve you all the businesses. We want to institute programs that are going to help uh, your business. Uh, obviously the Chamber provides networking and sponsorship and marketing opportunities, but we wanted to give you some tangible concrete benefit to, to say this is what the, you know, this is how much money the Chamber has helped bring into my store. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions. If y'all want to get into the weeds on, on how this works, I'll, I'll do my best to answer. But like I said, we're still in the early stages of, of getting the program off the ground. But what I do know right now is that you are going to be receiving an activation card in the mail. And this is just a card that you'll swipe so that they have your merchant ID so we can tie the program to your business. Does anybody have any questions? And it shouldn't take long to, uh, to get up and running. 
really once we have these IDs, the merchant IDs, we'll be ready to uh, to launch it and market it and, and get it out there for the for the people. We wanted to get it, it would have been nice to get it, you know, graduation season, giving it to people, giving the gift cards to their graduates and, and you know, people going to school, but uh, summer is also a big spending time, so hopefully it'll be beneficial to you then as well and throughout the rest of the year. What was the name of the company that's... We're contracting with Yifty, that's Y-I-F-T-E-E. -E. They were one of only two companies in the whole nation that uh, could operate within those two constraints that I mentioned. It was either a closed loop that could only be used with one POS system, and we're not gonna ask all of our members to adopt the same POS system, that's just not reasonable. Um, and also, you know, could be used like a Visa or MasterCard and only a specific businesses. Some of the other programs that we looked at adopting, um, we thought about contracting with a, a credit card process, uh, the POS system made me think of this. We thought about uh, contracting with a credit card processing company to try to give a discounted rate to our chamber members. But A, we found out that, you know, they weren't the cheapest option available across the board, and we don't want to offer anything if it's, you know, if it's not going to be the best option, and then there's no incentive to, you know, for, to join the chamber for that reason. But B, um, you know, you'd have to adopt their POS system, so <coughs> there's a lot that goes, goes in uh, with that, and we obviously, you know, we don't want to change your operating system if you like what you've got. I absolutely love that you're re, um, are revitalizing the shop of Hawk County. And, and you're right, we love, to, for Hawk County Healthcare, we love to be able to use that to encourage our employees to shop local, keep those dollars here local in your healthcare and all of your decision makings. So if I'm thinking for our healthcare system, we need to base our activation cards or perhaps even our chamber memberships based on our POS systems. Because I would almost think that my gift shop, I know our gift shop's POS system is gonna be different than our healthcare facilities. So I really probably then need to, in order to take advantage of that both ways, is to have two separate memberships? No, you wouldn't, we're not gonna ask the hospital to have multiple chamber memberships. If you have multiple locations, you'll just scan the card at each different location. Uh, if you have multiple locations with different POS yes. systems, then still, you'll just swipe it at at each location. You need a separate card for each POS system. No. I don't think you'll need a separate card. Okay. No, I, I think you know because it again it it works across any POS system. So if you have multiple locations, regardless of that POS system, we'll be able to tie it back to this is Ohio County Hospital. Well, great job. Good work. <coughs> so just be on the lookout. You should be getting those activation cards in the mail. Um, Double check our directory, and if you think that we have your address wrong, or if you would like the card, the activation card sent somewhere else, please let us know. Otherwise, you know, we're just going to ship them out to the addresses that we have on file. But we want to make sure that everybody gets them in a timely fashion so that, you know, we can get the program up and running as soon as possible. Do you want me to open it up for ideas, or do you want to come back up? And All right. Thank you all. So next we do want to open the floor up. Um, when I became president last year, one of the things I said I wanted to do was be a servant to you all and hear what you all had to say, listen to your ideas. Um, and I think ever since I've been involved with the chamber, we've done that through uh, Chris Hunt's term and Chase's and Seth's term. We've we've done all we've done that, and I just made a list over there. Uh, thinking of what we've accomplished while well, I've been involved with the chamber and we uh, we brought back the leadership of Ohio County class that Chase talked about I think there were somewhere between 8 to 12 of us uh, during that class that went around the county um, we instilled the chamber awards at the Christmas Gala uh, we developed the shop Ohio County app uh, that's available for smartphones um, We've had the OC Monitor provide live streaming um, at every membership meeting. We've uh, started a push for Small Business Saturday again um, by purchasing uh, newspaper space uh, and utilizing Facebook. And then uh, we just today um, implemented our Chamber Excellence Award. 
So those are some steps we've taken, but I believe there's more steps that we can take. Um, so I want to open it up, and I want to hear your recommendations. Yes, ma'am. Hello, uh, I'm Jimmy Lambert with Purple Passion, and I'm a new business. I own uh, Purple Passion Plus Size Boutique. Uh, I have a plus size boutique. I have just sizes 1X to 6X. I'm the only plus size business in the surrounding counties. I'm talking Muhlenberg County. I'm talking Davis County. Uh, Grayson, Butler, any county in the area. So my ladies come from, I use Facebook mostly for my advertising, and they're coming to me from all those surrounding counties to shop. So when they come here to shop, sometimes they come in groups of three, four, five, six, and they come early on Saturday morning mostly. So they're gonna spend that whole day here shopping. So I usually will tell them not just to shop at my store, I point out all the places that there is to shop in Hartford, places to eat. Well, if, if it's a busy day, you know, you don't have that one on top, one on top, one on one time to spend. Right now, I'm the only person in my store because I'm just starting out, okay? So, you know, I do my best to send them everywhere. Uh, at the first of the year, me and my friend here, Miss Lisa, we went to over to uh, Tell City area. To, that's what we did all day. We just shopped over there. Well, they had a little map, just a three-page little map. At the first business we went to, we were like, where do we need to go from here? And they said, here, let us give you this. And it was a little map. It told the places to go to shop. It told the restaurants to eat in the area. And I'm thinking, how awesome would it be for us? Because most, all the restaurants and all the businesses are right on 231. And it would be so awesome for us to have that, for each little business to have them on their counter and hand those out to the people to say, you know, hey, when you're done here, these are some other great places that you can go to, you know, and it could be Shop Ohio County, and, you know, it covers all the areas right in here. And like I say, most everything is right on right. 238. <coughs> yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Um, I didn't put that on my list because it's not complete, but we're in the process with Lichens right now, uh, developing a, it's not a brochure, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a directory that's wallet sized um, that we, the problem we've run into is we have so many members that we can't fit it all on the wallet size. So how long have we been? Two months probably we've been talking about getting that uh, out and about. And I think we're in the last few stages of developing that with them. Uh, but you're right, we do need that because when people do come in from out of county, they don't know where to go. And um, that's something that my guess is within the next two months, you'll see it out, and we'll get it out to all of our members who would like it. But thank you for bringing that up. Also, uh, on the Shop Ohio County app, we have all of our chamber members in a directory that um, they show up on a map, and someone can just hit purple, you know, passion, and, and get directions on their phone to you. Um, so that's just, you know, encourage your, your customers to download. Can you actually print that out? Where I can have it to put well that's what we're working on with with that I mean we we developed the app first and then we heard from some of you all that they wanted something that they could physically hand to people mm -hmm. so that's what we're working on um, like Judson said but just to let you all know that we have you all on the shop Ohio <laughs> County app and people can get directions directly to your location by just clicking on your name in the app so be sure to mention the app to your to your customers you know, the more of you all that, that help spread the word, the more customers are going <coughs> to download and, and adopt using the app on a regular basis. Thank you. What the, I, I want to say thank you to the businesses that have been referring people to me. Yeah. A lot of you have been, and I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, one of, um, that goes back to, like, what Tiffany was doing with her small business Saturday push. I mean, she was... <laughs> Um, even I guess what she we would consider competition you were promoting their business as well so um, I know it's appreciated so thank you um, the app as well one thing we can do with that is send out push notifications so if you were running a sale or if you had a new item in that you wanted promoted um, we can get that app we can put that on the app and anyone who has that app will receive the notification and you can send PDFs and things like that through it too. Um, with the app, we had to make it though to where 
the Chamber of Commerce office was the only one that could post on it because we had, of course, to restrict what can and can't go on it. Um, but we can get that out as well. If you ever have anything like that you want to push, um, we can send it out and anybody that has the app will receive that information. So it's, it is a good benefit to have. And those requests can be made on the Chamber website, just ohiocanny.com. Anything else? Criticism? Anything? <laughs> I'm open for it. Les, you got something? Yeah, I have an announcement I'd like to make. First of all, I want to thank Judy for promoting the FFA Farm City Supper. And I want to remind everybody this is uh, coming up the annual Hawaii County FFA Farm City Supper, Saturday night, December 28th, Hawaii County High School Cafeteria. April, if you'd like to purchase a table, I am pre selling tables. If you'd like to donate an item for the silent auction, I'll be happy to come and pick that up. Uh, doors open at 6 for the silent auction, and then the meal will fall at 7 and the program will follow that. We have uh, Russell Coleman, uh, United States Attorney for the West District of Kentucky, is going to be our guest speaker. He reported Mr. Hiller's first students. He first started in FFA. Ohio County uh, FFA Farm City Summer, 28th of this month. Yeah. And see me if you want a table or you want to make the contribution for Silent Arch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Before we move on, anything else? The floor still open. All right. We're going to move on to um, our door prizes. Our door prizes were donated today by Horse and Hound Gift, and we actually have two door prizes, so there'll be two winners. Uh, first number is 608569. 608569. Gotta have them. 608569. Where's the comfort? Oh, she's got it. Right here. All right, somebody at this table has won. <laughs> Nobody's claiming the prize. Wow. Judy has the door prizes. Who? Shandy, is it you? Yeah. Shandy? Yes, it is. All right, Judy I'm has your prize. To Our second winner is 608576. 608576. All right, we got our winner. And then our um, business in the spotlight, the card that was drawn is Purple Passion Plus Size Boutique. So get your information to Judy. And we'll feature that information in our newsletter and have it up here on the PowerPoint as well. We have uh, several announcements to make of upcoming events. Tonight is the Hope for Life Banquet. That's tonight. This Thursday, the candidate form begins at 5 p.m. is the tasting. 6 p.m. is the debate. Where? At the community center. 5 p.m. is the tasting, 6 p.m. is the debate at the community center. If you would like a table for that event, please see Donetta. She has a <coughs> roster that she's keeping and she can take care of you there. Uh, Friday at 10 a.m. is the community opening for the Bill Monroe Museum in Rosine. And that's Friday, this Friday at 10 a.m. April 21st is the Western, Western Kentucky Botanical Garden Volunteer Day. They were here two or three meetings ago. Is that right? 
something like that. Uh, April 23rd through the 29th is the CASA fundraiser. That's April 23rd through the 29th. April 28th is Celebrate the Child and Farm City Breakfast. Supper. Supper. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have breakfast. Supper. Celebrate the Child and Farm City Supper. You'll see some flyers on the back table um, about Celebrate the Child, some drawings that some students have done as well. Um, it's always fun to look at their artwork and their interpretation of Celebrate the Child. On May 5th, is the New Beginning Sex Assault Service Open House. That's May 5th. Um, we have a golf scramble coming up, our annual golf scramble that the Chamber hosts. That's set for June 9th. Get your clubs out, start practicing. June 9th. And then lastly, our next meeting uh, set for May the 15th and at that meeting we'll, we will be electing our 2018-2019 board members. Any other announcements? Alright, thank you all for coming today. Have a great day.